an illness comes out of the blue. Nothing out of the ordinary. A mother faced with a diagnosis impossible to comprehend. We basically have 0% survival. But after the heartbreak comes determination. This particular cause I have been chosen for. And tonight, that mom is opening up to Denver 7 about the disease that took her son. Good evening, and thanks for watching. I'm Andrew Healy. And I'm Shannon Ogden. And she sat down with our Jason Grenauer to tell her son's story and what she hopes his legacy will be. The wind blows where it wants. You hear it, but you can't tell where it comes from, where it's going. He was... A very loving, uh, funny, sweet kid. Luke Morin was like the wind, always running around, always playing with his Hot Wheels cars, always with his family. He would call and say, Mommy, and I'd say yes, and he'd say, I love you. And I loved him so much. Goodbye. Early in April, he started not feeling well. No significant symptoms appeared. No fever, no major issues, but four days later, his parents took him to the ER. The CT scan showed that there was something, there was some growth in his brain. It was DIPG, diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma, one of the rarest and most aggressive forms of pediatric cancer. And I think my husband jumped in and said, is, is our son gonna die? Only 17 days later. Luke passed away on April 25th. So April 8th to April 25th, our boy was stolen from us. Luke was just five years old. My husband had the best analogy for it, which is DIPG is like the drunk driver that killed his son. I say DIPG messed with the wrong family. Since then, his mom, this family, has made it their mission. Change the fact this rare cancer has a 0% survival rate. The fact that there is no cure by raising money for research that's being done right here in Colorado. I do not want to see these families go through it. I don't want to see these kids go through it. Their thoughts went to a place where they spent so much time with their young son, where just a month before his diagnosis, they were here playing with Hot Wheels cars, Central Park in Stapleton, and the idea of a 5K run walk in his honor. All of the proceeds from this race will go directly to Children's Hospital to fund DIPG research. How old are you gonna be? Five. Luke is gone way too soon. His impact undeniable on his family. It's amazing. But the greatest thing he leaves behind through what his family is now doing may be as bright as his smile in his mom's favorite picture. Luke's lasting legacy will be improving treatment for these children, if not finding a cure. Jason Grinauer tonight. That Fall Fest 5K in honor of Luke Warren is Sunday, November 4th, and you can find details on the race and how you can donate to that fund to fund research for DIPG. It's on the DenverChannel.com.